What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Scar Squad Pack. It is currently in the item shop. It does come with the, the fish skull outfit. Then for the harvesting tools, it does come with the bean bones. It also comes with the Scar Squad leader and with her back name of choice, the cuddly bones. Then for the other outfit, it does come with the bone balls with the back name itself being the creep fries. Then the harvesting tools, the beef bone. Then for the outfit, it does come with the bone ravage with the back name itself, the bone wings. Then it also comes with the Shelly Sailor and the wrap itself, the boning. Everything in here does cost $19.99. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So the Skull Squad Pack. It's actually a very cool pack. For $20, you do get four skins, three backlings, two harvesting tools, a wrap, and a glider. All the skins in this outfit are epic and so are the backlinks. What I really like about this pack is that fish skull outfit that honestly, it was actually a concept that somebody actually made about two years ago and they finally made it into tuition which I'm actually a big fan of. The remainder of the skins even though everything in this set is like a reskin, they still look very cool. The only one I really don't like that much is the bone boss but it still has its own little taste and looks very cool. So what are my thoughts about the pack? The pack itself is very cool. It does have some iconic Fortnite skins, mainly Fish Stick, Cuddle Team Leader, and the Beef Boss that are actually converted into like a skeleton screw, which looks very cool. They are all from the same set, the Skull Squad pack, which is basically just the Skull Trooper, which, I mean, I could see it. But is this pack worth it? Even though all the skins themselves do have a similar color scheme, I do think it's worth it. Call me biased because I'm a huge fan of uh, Fish Stick, and the fish call is actually right down my alley, but I still think it's very cool. What I like about most about this pack, not including the skins, is the harvesting tool. The beef bones is actually very cool, and it does match with the whole Halloween thing. Then you do have a glider and wrap that really most packs don't come with, and it's just really good for the money you're spending. So what's the final rating for the Skull Squad Pack? I'm gonna have to give the, the Skull Squad Pack a 10 out of 10. Again, comic bias, but I really do enjoy this pack. The pack itself does have a lot of cool iconic skins turned into skulls and then you do get that glider and wrap with it that is just a bonus if you guys have been debating which pack to actually pick from all the packs we got this year i do think this one's one of the best ones you could get so without further ado guys let's get this combo started for the first combination we are going to be using the fish skull outfit and we're going to be pairing it up with the grinding ghoul with the black era style now what I really like about this backlink is the color scheme. It does have that black and white color scheme that is similar to the skin itself. And then normally whenever it was Halloween, I would use this backlink with regular fish stick. So when I use it with the fish skull. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the fresh fish. The fresh fish harvesting tool is basically just two fish that are black and they look very cool and funny. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the web umbrella. The web umbrella glider does have an all matte black finish for a glider with the web imprint on it that just complements the skin. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Waterfall. He's still a fish out of water, so having the Waterfall makes perfect sense. Then for the Wrap, we're going to be going with the Boogeyman. The Boogeyman Wrap does have that matte black finish for a wrap that looks very cool and complements the skin. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination, we are going to be going with the bone balls and we're going to be pairing it up with the banner shield with the curse scheme of black and then having a bone as the main banner itself. Now what I really like about this combination is very simple. The shield itself matches very good with mostly all skins and having the banner shield as well with the color black just looks perfect. Then for the harvesting tool, we are going to be going with the faded frame. The faded frame harvesting tool does have a similar color scheme to that of the bone squad. Then for the glider, we're gonna be going with the Crazy 8 with the default that is out. The Crazy 8 itself does have the curse scheme of black and white, so it looks very cool. Then for the Contra, we're gonna be going with the Dark Feathers. What I really like about the Dark Feathers is that aura that is left behind that is all black, that really complements the skin. Then for the wrap, we're gonna be going with the Assassin. The Assassin wrap does have that silver and black curse scheme that is almost identical to the black and white of the skins. So let's check out this combo.
For the next combination, we're going to be looking at the Bone Ravage and we're going to be pairing it up with the Perfect Wings. Now, what I really like about the Perfect Wings is that the Ravage skin does have primarily all black and white, so having these wings actually complements really good with the glowing eyes she does have. Then for the Harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Stark Splitter. Now the Stark Splitter itself does have a similar color scheme to that of the skin, but the main reason why I'm using it is for that skull it does have in the bottom. Then for the glider, we're gonna be going with the one shot. The one shot glider is self-explanatory. The one shot glider is all black, so it looks very good. Then for the contra, we're gonna be going with the sip ribbons. The sip ribbons is basically just a control that leaves behind black and white, so that's the main color scheme of Ravage, so it looks very good. And for the wrap, we're gonna be going with the weather black. The weather black does have that faded black with white that just looks amazing and complements the skin. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination, we're going to be using the Skull Squad Leader and we're going to be pairing it up with the Rogue Spider Shield with the black and white color scheme. Now I really love this combination just because of the shield itself being identical to the color scheme of the bear. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Shadow Strikers. The Shadow Strikers is a dual winning harvesting tool that does have that black and white color scheme that looks really good. And for the glider, we're going to be going with the Shadow Stalker. The Shadow Stalker is basically just an all black color scheme for a glider and it does have a skull in the center of it. And for the contra, we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. The reason why the Spectral Essence actually fits here is because of the wind itself being all white. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Stealth Black. The Stealth Black does have that texture of metal that is black and it looks very cool. So let's check out this combo. Now for the honorable mention with the Skull Squad Pack, you could use any backlink that does have black or white. Now with these combinations, you could actually use them with any skin because all of them have the same color scheme. Now for the Cuddly Bones backlink, I'm going to be pairing it up with Rapscallion. What I really like about this combination is that the color scheme of the bow itself complements Rapscallion very good. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the crowbar. The crowbar harvesting tool actually matches really good because of the theme of the skin. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the big haul. What I really like about the big haul is that it fits perfectly with the theme. If you have the shadow version of the big haul, I would highly suggest you guys using that because it matches better. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the cash flow. The cash flow control actually looks very good, especially because of the glider itself. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the 8-ball. The 8-ball wrap actually matches really good because of the color scheme of black and white, and overall fits very well with the back thing and skin. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with the Creepy Fries, I am pairing it up with the Survival Specialist. Now the reason behind this combination is that the Creepy Fries does have like the bone color scheme on the back thing itself that really complements the shirt she does have on. Then for the Harvesting Tool, we're going to be going with the Reaper. The Reaper Harvesting Tool just fits Four Nightmares very well and it fits this combination perfectly as well. Then for the Glider, we're going to be going with the One Shot. The main reason why I'm going with the One Shot is because it does have that matte black finish that looks very good with the skin. And for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Flying Standard. 
The main reason why I'm going with the flying standard is because she does have that modern pirate look to her, so having this as a contra just made sense. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the shadow seal. The shadow seal does have that black color scheme for the wrap color, and then it also has that ghost logo on it that just has that enough white to make this look very good. So let's check out this combo. For the last combination, we do have the Bone Wings and we're going to be pairing it up with Hush. Now the reason why I like this combination a lot is because the wing themselves does have that black and white and then the black from the bones of the wings complement her hair. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Chaos Side. The Chaos Side looks very cool and menacing because it is a 4 Nightmares harvesting tool. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Bat Glider. The Bat Glider itself is basically just Batman's glider but it does have an all black color scheme that just matches this combination. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. The Spectral Essence itself does have that one effect that looks very good and complements her hair as well. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Boogeyman. The Boogeyman wrap does have the matte black finish that looks amazing and complements everything in this combination. So let's check out this combo. Those are the 7 combinations I did find for the Skull Squad set. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos of your fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is ENIGMAKID, all caps, 2Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the item shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and really help this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.